Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, for those eagle eye viewers of you, you would see that I've actually got quite a different setup today. Um, basically, I'm in the mix of doing lots of DIY, so I'm out in the garage uh, and actually filming this on a sheet of plasterboard. But I wanted to get some good content out for you guys anyway, because I really appreciate your support. Um, and in today's video, the content is gonna be discussing the Marvel mechs that are on sale today. There's three Marvel mechs on sale today. There is the Black Panther, there's um, Iron Man, and there's the X-Men Wolverine mech. But these three mechs are actually a part of a bigger series of nine mechs, with six actually retired last year. So for me, that makes me think there could be an opportunity for these mechs, because there definitely should be an element of collectability. So I want to examine and explore that in today's video. So let's get into it. So firstly, we want to have a look at the six mechs um, that have retired and how are they performing because that will always give us a good insight whether to buy um, sets that are basically in a similar range to those. Now, the six mechs that have retired feature the characters of Thanos, um, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain America, Miles Morales, and Thor. Um, so that's all six. Um, so I said all of these sets retired last year at the end of 2021, with the exclusion of Thanos that retired in July last year. And they all actually had varying shelf life. So I'm gonna put that in a table on screen now. It's very important for us as Lego investors to kind of target the sets that have uh, less time on the shelves because in theory that will mean there's less supply and less supply is what we want to target because that means that we should be less competition when it comes to time to sell. So looking at that table there, the three sets that three of those sets only released last year and retired last year having a shelf life of 12 months and that was the Captain America, the Thor and the Miles Morales. So um it might indicate that they could be the ones that might be performing better when we look at eBay in a moment to gauge their performance. So to gauge the performance, I'm just gonna look at eBay only. I'm not gonna look at Amazon, just um, for the purposes of working at return on investments, okay? But um, I'm afraid to say it looks like a red flag because looking at eBay right now, if you paid the retail recommended price for these sets, which was eight ninety nine, and sold them in today's uh, market, you really would struggle to make a profit on any of them. They're they're mainly really selling for about ten to eleven pounds. So, you know, best return on investment would be a pound, or you know, what's that about ten to fifteen percent if you held them for seven months or twelve months in in case for the Thanos because that retired last July. So. As I said, for me personally, if you that that statistics there or that data that if you sold them now for today's current value, they really haven't made much. So for me, that kind of makes me a bit cautious when looking at investing in the free mix that are on sale today. But I wanted to explore and provide some reasons for why the free mechs that are on sale today might perform better than those previous six. So, so reason number one is that the three mechs that are on shelves today are only gonna have a remarkably low shelf life of eight months. Now this is because of a quality control issue because they were scheduled to come out uh, um, at the start of this year. But I say a quality control issue, I think with a hinge made their release date delayed until April, but they're still scheduled to retire at the end of this year, which would give them a shelf life of eight months. Now, as I said, that's remarkably low, and I think you'd be hard pressed to find a set with a shorter shelf life than that. So. In theory, less supply in the aftermarket. So that's one thing to consider. Second thing to consider is there is a Black Panther movie coming out at the end of this year. And at, at time of filming, I think there's only other one Black Panther sets that you get available to buy, being the, the Dragonfly. So if they don't re if they don't release, so this is obviously a, a speculation, um, any more Black Panther sets alongside the Black Panther movie, the people might want to seek the sets that have retired because I think that movie is coming out this fall, this autumn, and um, they'll have to, if they want Black Panther movie, you know, Lego sets, they'll have to buy the Dragonfly or the Black Panther mech. So there's that reason, but that's you know very speculating that they don't release any new sets alongside the movie, which they probably will. 
And point number three. Now, point number three is that one of these mechs is a X-Men mech, the Wolverine. Now, when it comes to X-Men, LEGO really don't produce that many sets. So I don't know why, because there's a whole, like, you know, um, element to explore there, a whole massive franchise. But they've only released two sets, one being the Wolverine's Chopper Showdown, which retired nine years ago, and the other being the X-Men versus the Sentinel, which retired seven years ago. Now, these sets have performed well. Just look at the X-Men Chopper Showdown. This set is selling for about £120 after fees, etc. on eBay. And its recommended retail price was £20. So that's a return on investment for 500% for that one. And X-Men vs. Sensitive, if we do that as well, this one retailed at 45 and that one after fees, etc. selling for about 80 So return on investment on that one is 77%. So again, you know, good performance. But these sets have retired a long time. The Chopper Showdown, nine years ago, and X-Men vs. Sentinel, about seven years ago. So you really should take that into account when looking at the, those successes. Um, so for me, looking at this as a whole, and probably not going to invest in the free max. Um, I thought they would really be collectible considering they're part of a, a range and it's done wonders for the Herbology book in the Harry Potter book wizard book series but these Marvel max just don't seem that desirable so in my own opinion I'm probably not going to touch the free that run set at the moment if I do change my mind on one it would be the X-Men Wolverine but um, I'm not sure um, so there, there you go. So you guys let me know. Do you have any of the six that retired? Are you going to buy any of the three that were on sale today? Has this kind of, you know, concerned you whether to buy them? If you got to any of the answers to those questions, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you did appreciate this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. It really means a lot. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now, guys.